What's up baby chicks? Welcome back to our channel and today as you read from the title I'm going to be quizzing Steven on female products. So I actually have done this on TikTok before but I tried to choose new things and we're gonna see if you get the same ones right again. But this time you can go further into detail because on the other one it can only be a minute long. I just recently saw Jess and Gabriel do this video where she did it on obviously Gabriel and he was pretty smart at it and I have a lot of faith in Steven. I feel like he'll know a bunch just because he listens to me. Oh, no, yeah, I was I was thinking about the other way around. You don't listen to me. I, <laughs> I was like, why are you giving me that face? That was a compliment. <laughs> anyway, you guys, so basically what I'm going to do is just show a picture, and he is going to say what, what he it is. thinks it is. No, what it is. Yeah. I will get everyone right. Okay. With no context, I'm just going to show it to him. I need to ask you guys something, a really small favor, and it's totally free. We're really trying to hit 500,000 subscribers. If you go down and hit that subscribe button, that'd, that'd mean a lot to us. Yes, we are so freaking close to half a million, and we just hope you guys will join our little family. You can and be a baby chick who yeah. doesn't want to be a baby chick. <laughs> yep, so also make sure to comment down below, hashtag road to 500k. Yeah, oh wait, hold on. I have to get something real fast. So I just ran and got this card, but I just wanted to thank a few people for being our top donators on our TikTok live stream. So we have Kennedy underscore 3.15, we have Jessica Hand Handa. Honda? It'll be on the screen. It'll be on the screen, yeah. Ahmed and then Caitlin. Thank you guys so much for donating to us. You guys were going ham. You guys were completely going off. So thank you guys so much. And if you guys want to follow us on TikTok, link will be down in the description and our TikTok name will be right here. Okay, let's get into this video. <laughs> First item are these. Okay. Booby covers. Yep. Boom. <laughs> it's nipple Boom. covers. <laughs> Get demonetized. No, you won't. Uh, I'm already. I'm on a roll. I, I think we should be done for this video so I can get it 100. percent What is this? Hmm. Is that a is that a blindfold? Is it a blindfold, Natalie? <laughs> Shut up. It is a pad. Nope. Oh, it's a panty liner. Dang it! I was trying to confuse you. <laughs> Dang it, that's annoying. This one might be a little difficult. Okay. I think, I hope. It's a drill bit for your nails. Ah, no! A drill, a drill bit, like um. Well, like a actual drill? Yeah, no, not a drill, it's like a. What do you think, what do you, what do you think that does? It files it, it like files your nails and like, so it's basically like a, what is that called? I'm trying to think of like manly terms for like the tool name. What do you think it does? What does it file down? Oh, it files down like the this top coating. Oh, yeah. it. it's acrylic. Wait, what is that thing called? What is this? Yeah. I don't know. It's a nail file thing for acrylic nails. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up the actual name. It's gonna bother me. Okay, well can you bother, can it bother you later? Yeah. Okay. I'll think of it later. <laughs> Moving on. Dremel. It's a Dremel tool. Dude, I knew it started with a D. It's making me mad. Okay. All right, moving on to the next one. What are these? I've seen these before. Does it go... It's either on the front of your bra or it goes in the back of like a swimsuit or something and you can tie it off. What's your answer? It goes on the bra. What does it do for a bra? It makes the bra pads stay in the, like stay there and not like fall apart. I'll give you half credit. What is it? It is for a bra, but it's for the two straps in the back to cook them together. So if I wanted it to look like this, where you can't see my straps, I would oh. put that hook right there. So it's for your bra. Yeah. I should get full credit for that. No, you said it was for something else. Okay, this is easy. This one you should know. I think this was on our TikTok. That's a beauty blender clear one. That is not a beauty blender. A beauty blender is that egg thing. Well, yeah, but they make clear ones. Beauty blender does not make clear ones. Okay, well, it, you, a beauty blender <laughs> is a brand then, is it? Yes, okay. so what is that called? It's a foundation pusher pad. <laughs> it's a foundation mixer. Foundation embedment skin <laughs> utility tool. Are you, do you give up? What else am I supposed to, I only know beauty blender. That's what you say it is. You say every single thing is a beauty blender. No, I don't. Yes, you do. 
A makeup sponge. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> but what kind of material is this? Silicone. Yep, <laughs> silicone sponge. Dude, <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh, okay, this one I think is gonna trip you up. Okay. That goes in your vagina. What does it do? Birth control. Did you listen to me watch I their swear, video? I swear on everything. I had no, I did not listen to you. I swear on Mia's life, Michael's life, I promise. I think if someone showed me this, I wouldn't even know I'm brilliant, was. Madeline. My IQ is like half of a million. You gotta get at least one wrong. No. Oh, I think I know which one will get you wrong. Okay. Everybody wants to hear your thoughts on this one. I know you know what it is. Goes in your vagina for your, you, they put it in there and they go, they, they like clamp it open. It's, it's for uh, an examination. They go, hello. <laughs> Well, so they don't have to do that. They they do that and they can look through that little centerpiece. Do you know what it's called? No. A speculum. Speculum? Yeah. Well, I got it right. I know what it does. So basically they like swab your inside. Yeah. It's I'm, not it's pleasant. Not. What is that called? A, whenever you go to the doctor, what is that doctor Gynecologist. Called? Gynecologist. All right, this one I know you know. Diva cup. I like to drink out of those when Madeline's done using them. So I've actually never used one. I tried to, but I kind of want to do a YouTube video on them so I can try to use them. I just don't think I'm confident enough yet or have the willpower to shove that up there. I think I've asked you, how do you think it works? Okay, so, so you put it, so you squeeze it and you kind of do like one of these maneuvers and then you, you push it in with the Do spout. I sit on the couch and do that? Yeah, you do it on the counter. <laughs> on the kitchen counter. So you put put it in, once you let go, it like expands to the uterine, no, from the vaginal wall, is what I'm gonna say. Sure. And then it's like a suction, so the blood goes in there and it fills up and, uh, is this line in millimeters? Once it gets up to 15 milliliters, I said millimeters, milliliters, you, uh, you pull that little tab out like that and then you drink drink or use it for something else, the blood, and then you wash it out and you go, you put it back in, rinse and repeat. <laughs> okay. First you fold it a certain way. Yeah, to that's get what it I said. There. You, you, pin, you pinch it and you... And then to get it out, you need to make sure you release that suction or else that is gonna hurt. It's gonna feel like you're pulling your vagina out. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Mom? Hey, what are you doing? Filming a video about vaginas. <laughs> About, no, no, not about vaginas, but it's about like feminine products. I'm testing Steven on female products. Um, okay, well, when y'all are done with your um, vaginal talk, <laughs> you can. Um, I just made a yucky face. <laughs> <laughs> um, Paul Dad's gonna talk to you about birthday present option. Awesome. Okay. All right. He's coming over tomorrow to shred a field. Fun. Nice. He'll love that. All right, y'all have fun. All right, well, love you. Uh, love y'all. Bye. Bye. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, you said suction. You have to release a suction. Yeah, or else it, it goes, feels like you're pulling your yeah, gun out <laughs> inside out. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had that happen, but that's what I assume it would feel like. Okay. So the next one is going to be this. No, oh, Madeline, this is a really high quality picture. <laughs> I can't, I can't even tell what that is. Come on, I have one of those. It's, it's for your bikini area to shave. It doesn't have to be your bikini area. Your eyebrows. Yeah, I use it for my eyebrows, but you can use it for your bikini area. Oh, I use it for my bikini area. Ew! You put it on your eyebrows? You're freaking gross. I'm just kidding. I haven't used it. Yes, that is a form of a razor. Okay, so the next one. I'm good at this, Madeline. I know, it's freaking annoying. What is this? Oh, that goes, those hurt apparently because those like pull out hair, like individual hairs and they, they go in and they, they tear it out. What do you think it's called? My mom used to have one of these in like the 80s or whatever and then they in stopped the selling 80s. them. They stopped selling them like that certain kind or whatever, but they had like coils and springs. You were alive in the 80s? My mom told me the story. <laughs> Put, do it on her arm and it would hurt. Um, a hair remover. Okay. Confident. I'll give it to you. It's called an epilator. An epilator. Yep. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's that goes. It's for your bun. How do you know that? I'm smart, Madeline. When it comes. How to does the, it work? Okay, so you put your hair through that hole, that donut 
hole looking thing. And then you, you can do it around like that. And then that's how the girls in the military do it. I'll show you a video about it. <laughs> okay, well that's not how I was taught how to do it. Okay, how do you do it then? You put your ponytail and then you like roll it down. You go, and then it rolls into a bun. Yep. <laughs> okay. I think we're on to our last, oh wait, no, no, we have two more. What is this? Breast milk pump. Dang it. I thought you would be like a little tripped up. Who have you ever seen use a breast pump? They're, they use them in movies. They, like I see them on Twitter too. Well, whenever I had Twitter, I used to see them on there. It's like breastfeeding in public, stuff like that. Oh. All right, guys, we are on to the last one. We're gonna see what he thinks it is. I'm gonna be so mad if you get it right, for real. I thought this video would be funny here. It is funny. Okay. Because you really thought. What is this? I know exactly what this no, is. No, you don't. What is it? It's a mammogram machine. No! <laughs> Dang it! Put your boob on there and it goes, it's like a hydraulic press. It goes, I hope it's not a hydraulic press. <laughs> and then milk shoots. <laughs> no, it's for mammograms. You really thought, I don't know. I didn't think you were gonna know like all of them. I knew you would do good. I've seen a video about a guy doing one of these, like a boy, like probably like a little bit. Oh, I thought it was the other thing. <laughs> I was like, why would no. he be doing that? No, he had breast cancer. Okay. And so, and they said it was like really painful because like he had to, like they had to like pull his skin out and they had to do it like that. Ugh, I can't even, I haven't obviously had to get one of those yet. I mean, I will have to, but. Dude, they like literally smash your boob. Yeah. All right, guys. So Steven, I think got literally every single one correct. In some way, he got every single one correct. So annoying. I really thought you weren't gonna know. All right, you guys, we're gonna go. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell so you get notified every single time that we post a new video. We are trying to hit 500,000. So please join our little chick fam if you want to. And with that being said, we hope you guys are having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And we hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.